static timing a Morris thousand using a static timing light. So what you're going to need for this is a static timing light in 11 mil or the Imperial equivalent spanner um, and a starting handle and probably two people because it's easier. So I'm going to test my static timing light first before I start. I've earthed the bulb on the body of the car there. So I've got, I've got a good connection. I'm going to put that to one side over there. And I'm going to undo the clamp on the distributor, which is down here, right at the back. Let's find the, there's the distributor. Where's the clamp? It's always further down on the thing. There it is. There we go. Loads of stuff in the way. Can I move it? No, I still need to undo it. Should be able to move that now. Yeah, we go. He's moving a little bit looser, make life a bit easier. So I've got to set it now because I've moved the distributor. So there we go. Yeah. Right. So that's loosened off. A couple more turns. Get that out of the way. That spanner's in my pocket. Now we're going to go underneath, find top dead center on cylinder number one, and set it at three degrees before top dead center. So I'm now underneath the car and um, you can see here, here are the timing marks. So there are three, there's a big one, which is this one here, and that is top dead centre. So it's the vertical line um, about six o'clock. And then you've got two smaller ones. So the first smaller one you get to is five degrees before top dead centre. And the next one is 10 degrees before top dead centre because there's variation in what you would want to set the engine at. So we're going to go for three degrees before top dead centre. So John's now going to um, rotate the engine. With a bit of luck, we'll see the line. It's there. It's, there. it's just, I'll it's just gone past. I'll go around again. Yep, go around again. <clears throat> and you can feel the compression as it goes around. Yeah, I can. Oh, no, the train's going past. Yeah, it's just gone past. <laughs> I, I, might, um, I might just go back on that. So it's now sort of, a, yeah, there's 10. So we're now going to, no, so you need to rotate it towards me now, the other way. Other way. Right, keep going. No, there. Now stop there. Yeah. So that's about four. So I reckon you want to go, no, a little bit more towards me. The other way, the other way, the other way. There. Mm, that's about top dead centre. Go back a bit. Mm. No, you've gone too far. A bit more. There. Okay, I reckon we'll get the protractor out in a minute and double check, but I reckon that's pretty close. Now, the issue is that the rotor arm, it will do it twice for one rotation of the rotor arm. So we just need to check that the rotor arm is pointing at number one because you can then otherwise time it Hold on. wrongly. So we've checked that the rotor arm is pointing to number one spark plug lead, one number one HT lead. So um, we'll now check that it is three degrees and then I'll come back out. We've set the mark on the pulley to three degrees before top dead center or as near as damn it. And I'm going to test my test light again before we attach it to the LT lead. There we go. So that's got a good earth again. And now we're going to attach it down on the small lead on the left hand, sorry, on the right hand side of the distributor there on this lead there where it comes out of this distributor and that will help us set the time in. So we now turn the engine on, so the keys are in, but the engine's not running. So the ignition system is live. And now I'm going to turn the distributor by hand until that light comes on. Hopefully that light comes on. So we're going to sleeves up, in we go. She should fire up. Once I move the distributor. Come on. Where are you? Ah. Oh. Okay, go back slightly. 
it just a little bit. Got to do it so it's that's just a fuel pump. Come on, come on, where are you? The points have got to open. I'm moving it very, very slowly. There, got it, spot on. So we've now set the time in to three degrees before top dead center. Now we're going to disconnect everything. Um, we're going to start it up, tighten it off, start up, and we're done. Now we've set the time in, and the moment of truth, we're going to start it up and see if we get smoother on in. So it's pretty good. Do you want to give it a rev? Time is definitely better, but I think we need to have a look at the mixture. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're done.